Hi, Anna. Good morning. Uh, Good morning. Um, could you please tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay, so um, I'm a lecturer of journalism and mass communication in Kolkata, West Bengal. And I also work uh, part-time as a part-time radio jockey in All India Radio Kolkata. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what motivated you to travel to Impal for a hair transplant? Um, actually, the cost of hair transplant in Kolkata is too high. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they just charge 50 to 60 rupees per graft oh. in Kolkata. Mm -hmm. So, after that, I was looking for an alternative. And I came across uh, this Shija hospital uh, af and then I decided that I should come here and also uh, Dr. Indranil Dotto, he is also from West Bengal. Mm -hmm. So uh, from him also I heard about like he was, he, he has been there for like five years I think. Mm -hmm. So after that I decided that I will come here and, and do the <laughs> transplant. Huh? How was your travel here? Uh, it was good, it was good yes, it yeah, was no problem. Was there any assistance provided to you from the hospital side or uh, during your travel to Impala? Yeah, actually, yeah, Dr. Indranil Dotto, like, mm -hmm. he was on call always. Like, whenever I needed something, I called him and he was like happy to help. <laughs> that, so, yeah. That's great. How did you get to know about uh, Sija Asia Cosmetic Center? Is it through Dr. Indranil Yes, or yes, yes, through Dr. Indranil Dotto. Oh. Because I knew he was here, but I did not know where actually. Mm -hmm. So after when I like uh, went to the doctor in Kolkata and after that I told him that here the price is too high and he said that you can come here because here we can do it in like uh, the price is I think rupees 30 per graft right now. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, what do you like about CJ Asian Cosmetic Center? Uh, actually, uh, there, there are a lot of things actually. Mm -hmm. They are very helpful. The nurses, the sisters are very helpful. Mm -hmm. And as I told you earlier that uh, Dr. Dotto was there with me all the time, like whenever I needed something mm -hmm. while being on the operation table, he, he was constantly talking to me, he was constantly mm -hmm. like, uh, I felt really nice, like I did not feel like an, an outsider here. Okay. I felt like, like uh, these are my, uh, I know it uh, might sound exaggerating, but still I felt like these are my like own people uh -huh. and they're talking to me and they're like, the, there was this nurse, I don't know her, her name and she was asking me every 10 minutes if I'm okay when I was like, when they were extracting the hair. Uh -huh. she, uh, she was asking me about if I'm okay, uh -huh. do I need time, do I need like one minute to take a break. Uh -huh. It was really good and I feel like if I had done this, anywhere else they would have treated me like uh, like like another patient only but okay. here they did not do that oh you feel at home yes and you didn't have any language barrier because no i speak hindi so i i understand that they, they also speak hindi most of them i think speak hindi and english also so That's yeah perfect uh, this, uh, could you please describe the difficulties you encountered while attempting the uh, attempting to schedule an appointment uh, to be very honest, I did not feel any difficulties <laughs> and I know it's uh, like, uh, it might sound repetitive but uh, as I told you, Dr. Mm -hmm. Dotto was there all the time. He was like, whenever like, he booked the OT even before I booked my flight. He was oh. like, because he knew that like, if I said I'll come and he knew I'll come. Okay. So yeah, I came and I like, I came on Saturday. Okay. Sunday was off and Monday he booked the OT, so my operation was yesterday. Okay. And yeah. That's nice. Uh, uh, and how satisfied are you with the hair transplant procedure? I am very satisfied. <laughs> I am, <laughs> but true. to be very honest, I'm waiting for the result because it's, it takes, I think, two or three months to get the result. So let's see. But right now, I'm very satisfied. With all of that. Yes. Right? And um, how would you rate the professionalism of the staff and the medical care team? They are very professional. Uh, and because I told you, like, two minutes ago that whenever like i am like they 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 hear they, they're hearing that uh, it's a breathing difficult difficulty because i was head down mm -hmm. and uh, every time they could hear something like w one thing that uh, i'm breathing yes breath. a change in my breath they they they, they ask me if, if i'm okay mm -hmm. do i need time and yeah they are like in terms of professionalism i would say like, i would give them 10 out of 10 <laughs> <laughs> thank you
that's great. Uh, did you receive a clear, easy to follow post procedure instructions? Yes, here? yes, I did. Uh, I did yesterday also, but today also the nurse also like explained to me everything, okay. like what I have to do from now on okay. uh, to get the result, like better result and all. Yeah. Okay. Um, was there ample opportunity to address your concern before and after the procedure? Um, Did you get that time or that opportunity where you could talk with the consultant or the staff if you have any concerns? You, we generally have some concerns, right? Before that, I had before uh, coming here because I did not know how this the procedure was. Like, I read on the internet, but that's not clear enough when like uh, first hand experience is always better. So yeah, so I was a bit skeptical ki how it would be yeah. and uh, frankly <laughs> two times yeah. when I was uh, given the injection for anesthesia mm -hmm. that two times only for two minutes mm -hmm. I felt a like, big bit of discomfort because you know yeah, like <laughs> injection mm -hmm. after that I felt nothing after that it was very smooth oh, very okay. smooth so even after uh, the procedure, do you do you have the opportunity to walk up to your consultant or any medical staff to address your concern? Yes, or? I have. I have. Uh, I can. Uh, they have given me a number in the discharge paper also, okay. but I can always call Dr. Datta. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, did the, uh, okay, like you said, you already you have an emergency number, right? Yes. Um, what changes do you want to see in uh, CJ Asian Cosmetic Center? Okay, I have not thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> I think they are good at what they do. Uh -huh. I don't think any changes are needed because, see, from uh, after coming here to the hospital uh, on Saturday to uh, uh, today's Tuesday, Tuesday yeah. like they have taken care of everything. That's okay. Wonderful. Yes, they have taken care of everything when like in in the, in the hospital. Uh -huh. So it's. Fine. I mean, I'm I'm happy with the with their professionalism. I, I I'm happy with what Full they offer. Experience. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, Thank you. And um, I wish you all the best for your future and the procedure. Thank you.